Uh, quick update. Well, actually, you know, welcome to part uh, 6B. Uh, this was going to be one video, but it was going to end up being another 30 minute deal. Uh, so anyway, no, there goes the compressor. Okay. Anyway, my bushings came in from McMaster car. Uh, these little beauties, oil lights, going to be mint on, mint on the axle. We're still waiting on the uh, spindles to get made. Then I'm going to press these in and still got to wait on the ball bearings that are going on top of the spindles, but I can mount everything with just those to align it. And it's been a week since the last update. Finally got the spindles. Right there, they're just mint. Right there. So, ball bearings are going to press on the top. We got oil light bushings that are pressing into the other side. And then we got a flat oil light bushing that's going to ride on there. And our steering should be nice and easy. That's for grease fitting. We gotta press them together and we met. Okay, I got everything pressed in. Right there, the oil light bushings in there. I wish I could have found a two inch long one, but it's one inch long, it'll work. It doesn't go all the way through, whatever. Um, bearings in there, I had to cobble a little bit. There's a spacer in there. I didn't, didn't design the bearing cup quite right, so the inner race was gonna hit if I press it all the way in. So there's a little spacer around the outside. Keeps it up a little bit. It'll be fine. Uh, everything's red Loctited in. You know, grease fittings in there. Yeah, these came out really good. So, they're just, uh, you can see the other oil light bushing there. And then that goes on. I gotta clean the end up so the shaft will go through the bearing there. But they spin really nice. There's no play in them or nothing. I think the front end will be nice. Alright, I haven't filmed much, but I had to do so many little tedious things with this, make so many little parts, I just, uh, I couldn't, I just couldn't, it's, I, I didn't do that much really, but it takes a while. I had to make, so I took um, tubing that was the same size as the spindle, um, cut that in half, and made these little uh, these little uh, clamps here, you know, with the tabs welded on. Everything's just tacked right now. Um, and there's nuts in here. It's all one unit. So basically, that bolts on like that and clamps these spindles in. So that way you can take the spindle out if you have to change the bearings or anything. It's just nicer than, and it'll end up being stronger than trying to weld to that with make like I got it's just better um might have to get grade 8 bolts though I hope they don't shear so they're gonna have a good amount of force on them but basically that's what's going on uh this tubing here isn't gonna be the only thing that holds this front end together uh cause that that wouldn't um it's gonna there's gonna be tubing that comes off like that so it's basically a triangle there so if you hit something or back into something and the tire catches it's not gonna bend like this and then there's gonna be a bar a big tube that goes straight across um, to the other uh, mount um, I'm gonna work around the oil pan there, there's enough gap there to go around that and everything um, so that'll be strong so this doesn't bend or anything so I think we'll be fine with the but the front end, I, it'll be fine as long as nobody does a big huge wheelie and slams the front end down hard. I'm hoping, uh, I'd like to make it be able to take that, but I should for safety, but that's all I'm doing really. I'm just going to fully weld everything. i got to adjust that other mount a little bit because it's off by a quarter inch on the height. Um, this one's a quarter inch lower, so I'm going to make that one a quarter inch lower. And yeah. All. Okay, I got the top part of this side welded. Um, I had to grind out the uh, little bearing holder a little bit. Um, this whole thing's gonna kind of be boxed in and tied together once it's all done. Um, 
but yeah, that's pretty much how it's going to actually film well on this side. So I actually filmed me doing something in this one. Uh, but the last video was just way too long, so I'm trying to prevent, prevent all that junk again. There we go. So we got the spindles welded on, and I uh, threw the wheels on. They're not actually supporting any weight right now because the frame here is not ready for that. So it'll twist the, it's gonna it'll twist these tubes. But spindles work good in there. Um, they turn. I mean, I have a little bit of weight on it just to hold the things up. But we have some negative camber. And probably no, it's not perfectly straight. Um, there's a little bit of negative camber, so hopefully we have a little bit better grip steering. This one's slightly more, I'm going to adjust it. But, um, I have to make new tie rods, and I'm not using these ball joints because they have a tendency to pop off of here sometimes. We don't want to lose steering on this, so I'm going to use heim joints. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to make a new tie rod because I've, in the past, had to weld this when it was still a regular old lawnmower, like cobble weld it. I don't think that's safe for something gonna go fast. Anyway, that's gonna go into here, and I'm gonna make an arm come off at the bottom here instead of off the top because we don't have room in this frame, which actually kind of defeats the purpose of having the ball bearing in the top. Which the purpose of that was to prevent front to back wear um, because of the pushing here, which is how the cast iron one wore. Oh well, the bearing's still nice. So, um, the factory tie rod, and it's hard to see in here, but this factory tie rod that connects the two sides, actually, you can see it in there, fit between the oil pan and the bell housing and the transmission, barely fit. But it is hooked up, um, like, like that. See, they do work. Um, I do have to lengthen that tie rod because the threads are like, it's like two threads screwed in on each side, so. Um, and I want to get maybe slightly sharper turning out of it. This right now, that's max. This is, that's not quite enough, I don't think, for it to be good. So, left is a little better. But... You know, turning radius isn't going to be excellent, but we have more space. So I want it to be able to use up that space and turn sharper. Um, it's just that that tie rod hits the oil pan and bell housing in there when you turn, just because of the angle. So, not much I can do about that. But anyway, I had to pick up more, more of the one and a quarter inch uh, tubing that I used for this. Um, do that and I gotta get some one and a half inch or one and three quarter I think this stuff is um, to do this framing here I might actually just use angle iron and plate it in nice and have it just one big piece um, I might do the same thing on the inside of here to make like a truss almost in there um, and then where I can, this will this will this will get gusseted where that doesn't interfere. This side will get a full gusset. Um, same thing on the outside here for that frame, and there's the compressor. But I think I'm gonna end the video here because I have to pick up more materials, and I don't want the videos to take four weeks, a uh, month. So, well, the front end's in. The steering's almost hooked up. I don't know, I hate splitting it up into tons of parts, but that's where we're at. I might not even film finishing the steering, because I mean, that's pretty much what I'm going to do anyway, that's what it is. The next time, uh, 
the next video anyway of part seven, I believe. Um, I think I'm gonna measure, see what size belt I need, so we're gonna delete the power steering, so we're just gonna have the water pump and alternator. Uh, figure out what size belt I need, and then we are gonna try and figure out the cooling system. Um, and then it is time for fuel and much, much electrical and wiring and custom wire harness and all that. And I still have to remember to actually mount the rear end because it's barely in there for mock-up purposes only. There we go. Part 6 or 7 or whatever it is is done.